Here we go. Hello, hello. So, um, I have made it to the Chesapeake house. Driving for a couple hours or so. Um, I'm almost to Delaware. Um, I'm driving to New Jersey <laughs> to get to New York City uh, for a Thursday concert. Woohoo! This is funny because this is like the second time that I have now vlogged driving to a Thursday show <laughs> it's in a different state. I do actually go to other shows too, I just don't vlog them, but I think I'm gonna do more of that in the future if I have to like travel for a, for a concert. Um, I think that would be fun. Because uh, I don't think that I vlogged any of my LA shows that I've done. Um, maybe on Instagram, but not like on YouTube. So I'll do more of that. I've got just over two hours left. Um, I just got out of the Chesapeake House little rest stop and I bought a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Um, which this one was like less than three dollars. They had a, like a gourmet version that was literally ten dollars for a PP and J. I was like, I cannot. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get back on the road now and um, I will check back in when we have made it to New Jersey. Wish me luck. All right, so we have made it to New Jersey, the parking garage that is like right outside of Penn Station. Um, so hopefully the whole train situation goes well. And this parking garage, it seems like, I don't know. I, I feel like they attempted to do valet parking and then just gave up because it's like, wait for attendant, but then there's no attendance. I don't know. I think I'm all right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm going to go and get on a train now and things will become much more exciting after that point. Because so far all I've been doing is just driving, which is good to be uneventful in my opinion. So uh, yeah, but it's a beautiful sunny day and it's not too cold. So, so far so good. We finally made it to the hotel, yay! <laughs> All right. Here I am again. <laughs> Fun. It's a little, little fun little nook, little alcove here. Okay, so like I said, made it to the hotel room. Yay for that. Um, I thought that I was gonna get some sort of footage while I was on the train. No way, not at all. Um, it was absolutely packed. We were like little sardines in there. Um, yeah, just everybody packed 100% against each other, so that was a little, a little unnerving, but fine. Um, so what I did, I went to Newark Penn Station, and I got my train tickets, so I've got my um, two New Jersey Transit tickets, and um, one of them goes one way to... New York Penn Station, and the other one goes one way to Newark Penn Station. So I went from Penn Station to Penn Station. But I walked not very long, it was less than 10 minutes to my hotel, but first I stopped and I got some coffee. So, still got that with me right now. But uh, I, we, I went to Think Coffee, which that's where I'm planning to go tomorrow morning as well, because it's real close. So now, um, the only things I have left to do are get ready for the show, go get some food at Plant Burger, that's the place that I, I actually walked by it when I came down this way, so, um, that's a plant-based food place I'm looking forward to, and, uh, then I'll be going to see Thursday, and this is my traveling shirt that I got at the last show that I went to, my Thursday shirt, um, I think it's got the tour dates on the back. But anyway, oh, also my, I've got Pensy Prep earrings that my friend gave to me. So I'm just gonna take a second to chill out. 
I don't have to be first in line, that's okay. Um, but I'm also not gonna lollygag because I need to like get food and everything like that. Okay, so now we're going to be heading out. Um, this is my concert outfit. I've got my trusty boots on and then this like crop top sort of situation going on. Um, my little bracelets, but yeah, let's, uh, let's, this mirror is really not <laughs> cleaning. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go grab something to eat at Plant Burger and, uh, yeah, I'll see you there. it was excellent. I will give you more details in the morning. So, which for you is going to be like in a second, but for me right now is going to be an entire night because I got to go to bed. So, I see you soon. <laughs> Hello, good morning. So, I'm going to tell you about the show last night, but I have to kind of multitask because I have a coffee date with my cousin. So, I got to the show at like, um, it was just after five. I thought that the doors opened at six, um, but they did not. <laughs> but the gals that were in line with me, um, they also thought the doors opened at six. And here's the thing. It was very cold outside. Like, technically it was in the 40s, but it was windy and the sun was going down. So I was like, the girl in front of me, she um, gave me some hand warmers, <laughs> which were like amazing. They just, they made all the difference in the world, right? So that was great. Um, and then after that, I was sort of talking to them. So I'll pop up a photo of my, my line friends. Um, and we are now following each other online. Not that all worked out. It was a bonding experience despite the fact that we were there like over an hour early and um, that was way too much time for <laughs> what we needed to be there for. Um, but it's fine. I got in and for the first band I was like three or four people back from the barricade. That was cool. Everybody was chill. There weren't any crowd surfers or like moshers or anyone for the first band. And the first band was um, Many Eyes and they were like i know some people get offended at the word metalcore so i don't know how they like to be described but they were kind of like metalcore um almost like death metal but they had um like christian lyrics at some point and i don't know um i i think that um norman brandon who does antimatter i think he had an interview with um the lead singer so when I was reading it, I didn't like have as much context for it, <laughs> so I think I'm gonna go back and read it and check out Antimatter if you uh, are unaware of it. It's fantastic. Um, Norman's great. So then, after that band, after Many Eyes, there was Rival Schools, and their vibe is a lot more like um, 90s, early 2000s uh, alternative, sort of a bit of grunge vibe going on. And um, they were fun, and for them, because of the way that the crowd was like moving, um, I was actually more like two people back from Barricade as opposed to three or four. So I was like, this is great, you know? I'm like, gonna be really close for Thursday, right? Because um, Thursday was who I was there to see. So I was like, oh, this is awesome. Um, 
And for rival schools, there was like a mini mosh pit, but it was mostly just people who were friends that were kind of like dancing around and doing like a mosh vibe, but it wasn't, um, it wasn't like crazy or something. And I was like, okay, that's fine. And there was like this one guy that was trying to crowd surf. Uh, then Thursday came on and there was a crowd rush like I have not experienced before. And I've gone to a lot of concerts um, and I've been close. I've been like at Barricade, I've been near the Barricade, um, but it was, uh, it was a lot. I think I have a video sort of of the entire situation. <laughs> so if I have that, I'll pop that up here. Yeah, there was a crowd rush and um, so I had my arms out in front of me like this at one point because I was pressed so far up against the people around me that I was like having trouble breathing and the crowd was doing the thing where I was going like that but like we were all moving and it would like kind of violently change um, and we had crowd surfers coming and everything and I was like, you know what? this is too much <laughs> and um i'm not mad at the crowd the crowd can do whatever they want but i was just too much for me personally so what i did is i brought myself out and i gave up my spot that was my prime location but um but i was like i can't take photos like this and um i can't like fully enjoy the music like this because i'm trying to will myself not into a panic response. Um, it was just a lot, you know? So, um, and I'm referring to taking photos like for my uh, music blog thing, uh, not just for Instagram or something, but uh, anyway, I'll pop my blog up here. Please follow me, <laughs> subscribe to my blog. Um, so anyway, I extricated myself and I went off to the side and I kind of would move different places uh, depending on what was going on. Um, so I was like way off to the side for a bit and then I was kind of um, more to the center but still farther back um, and then I went back to the side again. So I just kind of played it by ear, <laughs> went with the flow um, and did what worked for me, um, which since I was there by myself um i didn't have to like check with anybody <laughs> um so i just did what i needed to do after the show i met up with uh, a new friend of mine gabby because i was picking up a zine that she put together which is actually uh kind of amazing um i'll show it to you <laughs> this is the zine fangirls want to have fun um it's a whole project. So she's a photographer um, and she took all of these photos, but it's like the purpose of it, let's see, the purpose of it, she's got written a couple different times in here, is that it's like the, the word fangirl can be used like disparagingly and to say like, you don't belong here and all of that stuff from the dudes of the community. Um, so this project is saying, it's putting the spotlight on the fangirls and being like, no, we belong here too. We get to be a part of this community, even if you, all of the men are like rolling their eyes and telling us that we shouldn't belong. We get to be here too. So thanks Gabby. I'll put her um, Instagram information uh, in the description below. <laughs> so anyway, I met up with her afterwards and um, that was great and she had to go and get those out of her car, right? So she was like, if you're okay with waiting just a little bit, then I'll go and grab it for you. I was like, okay. While I was in the show, I was thinking to myself, oh my god, it's so cold outside and I don't think I'm gonna like wait for the band or something, you know? Cause it was just so cold and there was a lot of people there. So I'm like, I'll probably just get the zine and go. 
on my merry way. But because I had to wait for Gabby a little bit, I was like, you know, they started bringing instruments out, which means that they're done like packing up the stage. So what if I just wait a few more minutes? So I waited a few more minutes and um, Tucker, the drummer, he came out and he loaded his stuff on the bus and then came over to where we were all standing. So like, not that he was trying to run away from us, but that he was like inviting us to interact with him, you know. He was uh, just saying hi to everybody and so I got to say hi to him and I was like, I met you in Washington, D.C. when you played with Kaylee Goldsworthy. And I gave you some chips. And he was like, oh my god, yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you for the chips. <laughs> so, anyway, I love Tucker. Um, he's in uh, the band Ellis Dunes as well, not just Thursday. So, uh, he's a fantastic drummer. A great dude. Then I was like, well, if Tucker came outside, then maybe the other guys are going to come outside too. So, sure enough. The other guys um, did start to slowly trickle out, and uh, so the two people that I really wanted to see were Norman, uh, Norman Brandon, and um, uh, Jeff Rickley. Norman was the next one to come outside. He came outside, and people weren't like swarming him. <laughs> You know, because uh, Tucker was talking to people, so people were a little bit more like, oh, what is Tucker doing, right? Um, but I love Norman, and um, like I said before, he does antimatter, and um, I read every single antimatter that he posts, and sometimes I send them to my mom, <laughs> and my mom likes them as well. So I went over to Norman. Um, after it seemed like he was done kind of putting his stuff on the bus and all of that jazz, right? So I, I just went over and I was like, hi Norman, I love that <laughs> Um, And he was super sweet, so I got to meet him. Then I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna wait around and see if Jeff comes out the front door. And, uh, um... Because it was late at that point, and I was like, I've been here this long already, why not? And so I was standing kind of close to the door, mostly so that I could get out of the wind. <laughs> it was kind of in a little alcove situation. And so Jeff came outside and was like, hi everybody. <laughs> and I was like, hi Jeff. <laughs> And so he came right over to me, and I gave him a big hug, and he was just the sweetest person ever. And I was like, Jeff, my mom says hi. Because before I left, my mom was like, make sure, like, tell Jeff hello for me. And I was like, Mom, I don't know that I'm going to meet Jeff. <laughs> it's like, that's kind of, like, we'll see, but... It's not guaranteed. She's like, well, tell him hello. And um, so I told Jeff that my mother said hello and that it was important to her for me to tell him that. And he thought that was very sweet. And he was like, oh. <laughs> then I went back to my hotel. So it was a wonderful evening. Uh, I'm gonna finish doing my makeup now because I can't talk when I'm doing my eyeliner anyway. But uh, yeah, I'll get back with you in a second. <laughs> Alrighty, well, I'm ready to go and explore the city with my cousin. So first stop is getting some coffee. Yummy! I'm going to see you. Yay! <laughs> There's so many books! <laughs> There's also a couple of books. Is it to the strand of Jatoj? There's so many books. Mm -hmm. 
So where are we, Maddie? We're in Washington Square Park. Yay, it's lovely. It's so sunny. <laughs> it's so sunny. It's so sun for us. Yay. 100%. Yeah. Yeah, even if I can't, if I, even if I can't like play in a bit, I'm going to do it. We are open, so I assume it is open. Of them are actually slowly being got rid of. They built them. It's very exciting. So here we are. Um, says, Welcome to New Jersey. <laughs> so, here's my room. And um, I have a wonderful view of the Prudential Center parking lot. <laughs> so, I have made it to New Jersey again <laughs> in my hotel room. Um, I definitely feel like I just totally stopping moving and like taking it easy <laughs> at this point, but I should probably go and get dinner first so that I can just like decompress after that. So, um, that is the plan. Um, there's a place close by that, um, is a vegan place that I'm going to get food from but um yeah so my cousin and I had a great time in the city and um bought quite a few books at the bookstore that I showed you um but yeah so so far so good and um we're just gonna have a good evening in New Jersey <laughs> okay I have retrieved my food went to Brick City Vegan, which just so happens to be like two blocks away from me, like I can see it from the hotel. Um, I didn't like film while I was walking because I feel like, I don't know if it's just the part of Newark that I'm at or what, but I don't think that Newark is really like a uh, let's film the city type of a city. <laughs> I, yeah, so <laughs> we, uh, we just our food and left so anyway i'll pop a little picture up of the brick city vegan place but um yeah people there are nice so uh i'm gonna eat some dinner now um tomorrow is going to be very chill i'm not gonna do be doing much vlogging because i'm essentially just going to be teleworking uh there is a lunch break thing that i want to do a little field trip just around the corner. So I'll check in with you if that ends up being possible. Uh, fingers crossed. <laughs> it should be easy. We'll see. Anyway, uh, good night. I will see you tomorrow morning. Good morning, New Jersey. Good morning, Prudential Center. <laughs> so, um, just a little quick note. I've had two days of like really fantastic coffee at cute little New York City coffee shops. Um, I ordered a cappuccino from the hotel coffee bar this morning. This is what I got. It's okay. I mean, it doesn't taste bad. Um, but it's certainly not a cappuccino. <laughs> hello, hello. So, I was not able to go on a lunchtime extravaganza because I ended up having a work meeting that was like during my lunch break. <laughs> but um, I'm now going to attempt to find the giant Gerard that's on the side of the Prudential Center. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and I'm also going to grab some dinner since uh, it's uh, just finished working for the day. So, yeah. 
my brain is kind of gone right now. Um, but we're doing our best, and I've got my Thursday shirt on. It's nice and warm. Alrighty. Hopefully the next thing that you see is the giant Gerard. <laughs> Mission accomplished! We did our Gerard pilgrimage. So, um, I'm glad that, I'm glad that, that worked out. <laughs> and I also got my Chipotle. So, I'm now all set for the evening. It's actually sort of warming up outside, which is nice, so hopefully tomorrow will be pleasant. That would be nice. <laughs> Alright, I don't know if I'm going to check in again this evening. Um... So the next time I check in might actually be when I'm getting ready to go to um, Butler, New Jersey. So we shall see. Good morning, Prudential Center, day two. <laughs> All right, here we go. Getting on the road again. Uh, going to Butler, New Jersey. I've got my pasta shop shirt on. My hair is seen better days but we're doing our best <laughs> all right so i'll see you when i get there hi so i am back home now it's actually the next day that's because I, like, really needed to get on the road after my appointment. It was already getting late, and I had a five-hour drive, and then by the time I got home, I was, like, exhausted. So, um, but I did want to tell you about the different things that happened. So, parked my car, headed over to Zinc, and, like, took a little video of the sign or whatever, and I went in. And, um, there were a lot of people there. <laughs> so, the people that were there were obviously Kat, Kat Hardy. She's the one who did my tattoo, um, her husband, and, um, Azara, Azara, I don't know how to pronounce her name, but she's the one who, like, owns and manages the shop, and she's great. Um, and then also Frank Iero was there. So that was really wild, but he was there, Derek Zanetti was there, and he, um, his, his musical title is Homeless Gospel Choir, which is fantastic, you should go and check that out, so I got to say hi to him, that was cool. Um, Frank's wife Jamia was there, uh, his brother-in-law Evan Nestor was also there at one point. And he does a lot of stuff. He's been in some of Frank's bands, and uh, he does, like, guitar and drum tech and bass tech and different things. He's done tech for MCR and Taking Back Sunday and Thursday, so he's all over the place. But, uh, yeah, so it was kind of a party when I got in there, and uh, I had to fill out my paperwork on the couch that they have there, and... I was kind of processing everything that was going on and I sort of felt like I had the dial-up noise going on in my brain um, <laughs> because I was already a little bit like, you know, nervous to go in to get a tattoo, right? Uh, especially alone, it's only my second one. So I was just like reeling <laughs> in there. I wasn't expecting sort of the amount of stimulus going on uh, when I entered the establishment. So that was really wild. But anyway, they took a group photo, which they've all posted on social media, so I'll pop that up here. And um, I took a photo of the group photo <laughs> being taken. Um, I couldn't help myself. Uh, but I also got to meet Frank and say hi to him, and he was just so very sweet to me and just kind, you know, um, and said lots of comforting things and was very patient with me as I tried to form complete sentences, you know, so um, I'll put that photo here that we took together, and he actually had to take the photo 
because my hands were in fact shaking. Um, but he was really nice about that. And he was like asking me about the tattoo I was going to get and all of that. So it was just amazing. So that's how everything started. And then um, I had a great time actually getting the tattoo done. Uh, Cat is fantastic. I would definitely get more work done from her in the future. I think she's just a fabulous artist. I'll link her Instagram um, in the description below, but I've bought artwork from her in the past, and so this was, um, I was really excited to go and have this opportunity with her doing the guest spot at, um, at Zinc, New Jersey, and we had a great conversation during the whole session. It was just awesome. So, uh, someday I'd like to travel to her studio in Ireland to get maybe like a bigger piece done. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, so that was excellent. She took very good care of me, made sure I was okay and didn't leave too soon to like, uh, pass out while I was driving or something. So she had me sit on the couch for a bit, uh, <laughs> give me a lollipop. So that was awesome. And also zinc is just a really great spot to go especially for people that might be a little bit um like trepidatious I guess or nervous about getting a tattoo done it's just so welcoming and both times I've gone everybody has just been so very nice uh so I really can't recommend it enough it's it's worth the five hour drive for me um so yeah, that was my experience. Uh, here's the tattoo that I got, Merci pour le venin, uh, based off of Thank You for the Venom, which is a song by American rock band My Chemical Romance. And it's also the, the French version of that is written on the back of their first album. So uh, yeah, it's kind of a, it's an MCR reference, but it's, it might be slightly deeper than the uh, casual fan may uh, inherently know, so I don't know. I think it's really cool. I love how the tattoo turned out. And I had an excellent trip. Just an excellent, excellent trip. Um, I can't even believe how many fantastic and serendipitous things happened throughout this whole adventure. I'm just so grateful for all of it, and um, yeah. I'm really happy that I had the opportunity to travel and do this. So I will see you on my next adventure, which will be, I do believe, in April when I go to Los Angeles. So see you then. <laughs>